Canvas, empty yet full of potential. Paint, the medium, brushes, the tool. Ideas reveal themselves as each stroke leaves colored visions. What you decide to create is up to you. Your ideas, unique and limitless. Use your canvas and bring your work to life. Hey everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today I am bringing to you my 2018 NYX Face Awards entry video, which is this watercolor vision brought to life. I'm starting out with a clean and fresh face. I'm applying a very pale concealer all over my face because I'm going to be putting a white cream paint over it and I want the redness underneath to be hidden by a concealer. That way when you put the white over it, you don't have to deal with having your redness popping through. I'm then taking that white cream paint and applying it all over my chest. I decided to use a sponge with this because I find that sponges give the most even coverage and do not give you any brush strokes and so it gives you a nice even white base. I'm applying a second layer where it's needed. I'm then taking a white kind of translucent powder and applying that all over to set the cream paint. taking a purple water activated paint on a paintbrush and drawing out my first flower petal. I'm then going to take a little more water without any extra paint and apply that on top of the petal and then blot away the middle of the petal where all of the water was towards the edges. This is going to create that watercolor effect where the edges have the most color and the middle is less opaque. I'm then going to take a darker purple and apply that more towards the edge and then blot it away. Again, adding it where you want the darkest color to be. I'm then taking a dark blue mixed with a black water activated paint and applying that towards the inner part of the petals and then blotting it away. I'm taking a blue water activated paint and drawing two little stems from the flower. I'll later on go ahead and add a couple of more petals to this flower because I like the way six looked rather than three, but you can do as many as you want to. I decided to use a wet q-tip to blot out the paint towards the edges of that stem. And then I'm taking a yellow mix with an orange and putting that in the center of the flower, again using a q-tip to blot towards the edges. I'm then taking a blue water activated paint and drawing out some more flower petals. I'm taking the wet q-tip and dabbing it in the center, again focusing all of the color to the edge. I'm taking a dark blue mixed with the black, putting it in the center, and then blotting away towards the edges again. I'm then going to add some random watercolor marks all over my neck by just taking a fluffy brush with a lot of water, a little bit of paint, messily putting it where I want to, and again blotting towards the edges. I don't blot as much where I want it to be more harsh and darker. I'm 
I'm then taking a dark purple doing the exact same thing again not blotting so much so that you can see those kind of watercolor marks that they're leaving by putting a white base and setting it with powder underneath the water is sitting on top of my skin instead of drying down so I'm able to mess with it more with the paper towel I'm then continuing that process with the dark purple paint all over and adding those marks I took a dark blue paint and again added those watercolor marks where I wanted them to be. You can put them wherever you would like. I'm also taking that paper towel and kind of dragging the darker colors so that they fade into the white. I then take a dark purple paint and continue to add different flower petals. You don't have to be perfect with the edges because that's again what creates that watercolor effect. As you can see I added a couple of more petals to that bottom flower. And now I'm adding a stem to this one. I'm taking that blue paint, just drawing a line, taking a Q-tip and blotting out the color towards the edge. It's just a very big repetitive process. I decided to take a teal liquid lipstick mixed with water and then use that to make this flower. I like the way the teal color looked with the other colors in this piece. I took that same teal liquid lipstick mixed with water and used that to apply really harsh marks of watercolor. I'm then taking a sponge with a dark blue cream product and applying that to create splatter marks. I then took that purple and just applied a couple of dots, drug those towards the edge just to create some texture. To add pops of color, I decided to use yellow water activated paint, use a wet Q-tip to drag the color towards the edge, and then use an orange to create even more depth on that edge. I like the way yellow and orange looked with the purples and blues. I took that same white cream paint and applied that all over my face. I then set my face with that same sort of white toned translucent powder. Making sure my face is set, I exfoliated my lips and wiped off the extra chapstick so when I put the white over top it didn't look dry and crusty. I'm taking a white liquid lipstick, applying that, and then blotting it out with the sponge so that it melts into the white base. I then took a blue cream product and just lightly put it where I want my contours to be. I wiped off the rest of the product on my hand, used the brush to gently contour my cheeks and forehead. I didn't want this to be super harsh, but I did want it to be there. I then took a white hair paint and applied that to my eyebrows, then ran through them with a spoolie so that my eyebrows weren't so harsh on my face. I took the NYX Liquid Suede Lipstick in Amethyst and applied that in the middle of my lips and kind of blotted them together just to add a little something to the lips. I'm doing the exact same watercolor effect with the purple, the dark purple, blue, and a light blue, as well as the orange and yellow water activated paints by just placing them where I wanted to messily and then blotting the inside towards the edges. Layering the colors on top of each other just makes it even more unique and textured. 
I then took that same blue cream product and used that to create a winged eyeliner that kind of connected into a cut crease. I didn't want the eyes to just be messy and watercolored. I wanted them to be a little structured, which is why I decided to add this part. And then you attempt to make them even. <laughs> I decided to make it look like my wing bled into my face by adding some watercolor to the very end of it. I'm then doing the exact same thing to the other eye. Of course not the same pattern, but the same technique. By using a white hair paint, I was able to go over my eyebrows with those colors and the white was not removed. I'm then taking that same yellow paint and adding some pops of color around my eyes. It just added some depth to this look that I thought it needed. Then taking that sponge with that same blue cream product and applying a couple of little splatter marks and freckles to my face. I then took a paintbrush with some dark blue paint and just splattered that around my eyes and on my chest and neck, again just to create some texture with this look so it wasn't just the same throughout. I took a glittery lip topper and applied that all over my eyes and on my neck and chest just to create some dimension and add a little bit of glam to this look. I used a light pink, a purple, and a kind of dark black blue color which I thought worked really well with this look. I applied them to my eyelids again just to add something to the eyes. I'm applying some really dramatic eyelashes to my eyes. And then taking a chunk of eyelash and just applying it to the very outer corner of my eye. Apply the other eyelash, can't forget about that one. And again applying one to the bottom eyelash. I'm taking some black cream liner and applying that to the outer half of each eye. I want the outer halves of my eye to be really dark and dramatic and the inner half to be kind of less dramatic. Just apply whatever mascara you want to to blend your false eyelashes and your normal eyelashes together. And don't forget the bottom eyelashes. And that is the eyes and face done. I decided to pin up my hair to make it more like ethereal looking. And that is my NYX Face Awards entry. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please like and subscribe to my channel and I will see you next time.